day in has been reborn. Word of King Peleus's coronation reaches neighboring Crimea within days. Crimea itself has spent the past three years rebuilding from the damage it suffered during the Mad King's War. News that Ashnard's son now sits on Dayan's throne sends waves of unease and worry rippling across the land. Alas, this is not the only thing disturbing the people of Crimea during this time. There is an ever-widening gap emerging between Crimea's noble class and the nation's young ruler, Queen Alincia. Crimea lost its king during the Dayan invasion, and Alincia is still an inexperienced ruler. What's more, her very existence was a secret from the public, and so she came unexpectedly to her succession. Many of Crimea's noble houses raised their voices in protest against her rule. Elincia's desire for a long-lasting peace has driven her to strengthen Crimea's ties with the Laguz nation of Gallia, and to renounce Crimea's claim to rule over a defeated Dayan. Her political moderation is seen as a sign of weakness among her critics. Ike, the young hero who led Crimea to victory in the Mad King's War, was granted a peerage for his heroism and bravery. The elevation of a common mercenary to the nobility, however, widened the rift between the aristocracy and the queen yet further. Perhaps to avoid becoming mired in these power struggles, Ike renounced his peerage and took his leave of the court. Yet Ike's actions did little to placate the nobility. They continued to criticize the queen's every decision and lay squarely at her feet the blame for all of Crimea's woes. So, you have acknowledged Peleus as the newly crowned king of Dain. Your ma majesty, this is beyond the pale. I have not forgotten our war with Dain. Three years is not as long as that, so long as that. But do not forget, if we allow hatred to rule our hearts, we become prisoners of our past. A lasting peace serves both nations. Brother, ma your majesty, well spoken indeed. Your words paint a picture of idealism rarely seen here at court. However, and I beg your forgiveness, it is quite apparent your grasp of politics remains childishly naive. Abandoning rule of the end, the reconciling with our most hated enemy. This will not do, the people will soon take their discontent to the streets. What's more, why choose Bastion, the Count of Fire, as your envoy? His skills in court are vital to Crimea. To send away such a key figure? Tell me, your highness, how exactly do you plan to rule with him, uh, without him? The Count of Fire himself gladly volunteered as a delegate. Her Majesty's decision was only... Lady Lucina, still your tongue, you're not here. Her Majesty, do not presume to speak for her. Yes, Lady Lucina, please refrain from speaking if you have not been directly addressed. Your familiarity with the Queen does not grant you a seat in the Royal Assembly. Although you may have been raised as a sister to Her Majesty, the Queen kindly remembered your place. You have my apologies. And you, General Joffrey, does your loyalty to Her Majesty stem only from your unchecked emotions? Those with, with a taste of gossip are talking. I wonder, have you heard what the help is saying about you? What? I... Joffrey? <sighs> At any rate, growing discontent has brought the royal family of Crimea to a crossroad of sorts. Your Highness, this is all on you. Indeed, Your Majesty, whatever do you intend to do? Queen Alentia!
Masha, how are you today? And what are you doing here? Lucia told me about this no gooding nobles and their chest beating contest, so I thought you could use some cheering up. You weren't in your chambers of the, or the garden, so I guessed you would be out here. Forgive me, I needed some time to think. I'm sorry to trouble you. Not at all. After everything you've done for me, it's the least I could do. It was nice of you to hire me as a royal knight, but hiring my sponge, sponge brain, spine rip, the brief brother might qualify you for sainthood. Even so, I'm afraid I may also have caused you a great number of hardships. Huh? Oh, uh, the grief I'm getting from the nobles? It's nothing I can't handle. If you think your court has stuffed shirt windbags for aristocrats, you should see Binions. When there was the Pickersons night there, they had a new shenanigan every week. After that, the Crimean and Crybabies are no big deal. No, it's my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so new to all of this, even if you are affected by my blunders. Sometimes I think, maybe I just don't have what it takes to be a queen. That's not true. Queen Olympia, anyone can strut around in a queen's head and say she's a ruler, but you always put your people first. Look, it's not that you're doing a bad job, it's just everyone's on edge lately with Dane getting a new king and all. People are worried that Dane's, Dane will start another war like the one three years ago and they're ta taking it out on you. Just don't let those peacock wearing nobles bug you and remember that you don't have to go, in, go it alone. You've got your friends everywhere. Thank you, Marcia. Your kind words have lifted my spirits. That's right, I'm not alone. I must be strong for the sake of our people, as the protector of our homeland. Huh? Queen Olympia, what the heck is going on over there? Hmm. <laughs> hey, how dare you, you harass us! Be gone, insolent fools! Be gone, I say! <laughs> Fear not, my lady, this senile old bird will gladly trade his life for your protection. <laughs> they say nothing is as beautiful as the herons of Serenus, especially a royal princess. You'll fetch a pretty penny for some lord or other, and our pockets are a little light. What we'll just say, Captain? Yes, naturally. She, she should prove to make a fine gift. Seize them and mind the raven's talents. This is unbelievable! Stand back, you unrepented dog! Nealoti does not give in easily. Man, silence that calling raven. Who would pay for an old crow like that anyway? Leave him! Stop right there! <laughs> Company, how drool. Hey, Binion Draconites! Are you lost or have you just been letting those scale fle fleabags do your navigation? What you're doing in Crimea Sky? We've merely strayed a bit on our cutest patrol at the border. Do you have a problem with that? You and your flying snakes are in violation of Crimea's sovereignty. Besides, do you have any idea who you're dealing with here, reptile breath? Master, stop. We can't afford to start antagonizing the Binian army. I'm the queen of Crimea. But, your majesty, we can't just let those wyvern monkeys run rampage. And we're not going to. As long as they don't realize I'm the queen, we should be fine. Binian Draconites, you will only be warned once. Leave this area immediately. I serve the queen of Crimea. Trespasses on Crimea territory will be dealt with. No exceptions. 
the queen, she says. The very queen that relied on us, the Binion Empire, to free her nation. Imperial Draconites are not frightened by soldiers so weak as Crimea Pegasus Knights. Listen up, leave those two alone. It's the Serenus Maiden we want. Do not allow her to escape. Looks like we'll not talk any sense into them. I suppose we have no choice. Sernia Lucci, we're here to help you. I'll be! It's Her Majesty Queen Lucia! Fate has smiled upon us. I hate to be a bother, considering it has been so long, but your assistance is most appreciated. Hey, together, Red Black Dragon is back, and welcome all of you to another part of chapters prologue of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So we have an air battle against all those guys, and we have to keep Lian safe. We also have Nia Lucci at our disposal, who is a raven, and he might be old, but he's quite strong. He can still pack a punch. He has a Lago Stone, which is an item that fills up the transformation gauge instantly, so it allows him to shapeshift instantly, which is good. And we also have Lian, who also has the Gift of Galdra, which we can't use yet because nobody's moved yet. And we have Marsha, who is a Falcon Knight, so she's a wolf. And we have Elinja, who is the Queen. So we have. Her with a slim sword and man in a concoction, and you have a steel lance and a javelin. So, rather good things there. So, we only have to survive for 8 turns. Should not be that hard of a task. With um, emphasis on should. So, we are not taking really that much damage there. Just wanna make sure that we're doing the best we can. Okay, doing it this way is the safer route then. So let's attack with Elincia first. I'm not gonna call her Elincia, even though they say Elincia. Stun. Thank you. Beautiful. I also can go over their abilities really quick, since this is something I should and could do. Not so much EXP. And then we go down. So, um, really fast go over what they have. We have Renewal, we already know that. We have Kanto, a last unit that has not moved its... Oh, we also know that. <laughs> I'll explain something we already know. Stun can inflict three times normal damage, so it's basically a critical hit. And paralyzes enemy until their next turn. So... He will only move next turn. So, my question here is, what would be the best road to go about here. So I obviously need to get rid of some dudes here. I also think, because if I want to take a look at that really quick. Okay, I have Vigor, so I could potentially use Vigor here. And let's see, can Nialuchi kill one by himself? Nay. Whatever I do, I have to get Lian out of range, so that is most important to anything. I also need to know where he can go. Okay, he can go basically everywhere as well. So let's attack you here and deal damage to you. Yet let, 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 Let's see what's gonna happen here. He can hit quite hard. Should have probably used the javelin and not the steel lance, but whatever. So, surviving for 8 turns. It's gonna be a little bit hard, but manageable. That's the most important thing. It's gonna be manageable. So, then I'm gonna send you over there. I think the most important part would be to send near Luchi that way and let him take care of that douchebag. So that. We got get rid of one dude here. And then with... Yeah. He's gonna lose his uh, gauge. More and more. So, Nelucci. You move down there as well. Then we can, can use Lian. 
you don't have... Oh, you have Kanto. So, if things work out, you should be able to move one more space, if I am correct. Please? Yes. So, she's outside of that now. And then we can do that. Get rid of this douchebag. Goodbye, douchebag. So that worked out really good. I was kind of scared there for a second that I would not be able to do that. And now... I'm gonna... Go close to them as well. So that I can block off here a little bit more. Leanne is safe. So I'm not too scared about that. Will you hit her? I don't know what you're trying there, dude, but... Good job. I appreciate your tryness. And that was kind of obvious, because they have a rather good chance of hitting Marsha. Marcia, Marsha, I don't know. I'm gonna pronounce her name different every single time, I'm pretty sure. That works out, good. 14 health, eh. Whatever. Whatever. So in this case, Elinja um, would be basically the pre-evolved unit more or less because she's the queen. As you can see, she's not packing the biggest punch, but she also just has a slim sword. But she is not the one who's gonna get hit an, an awful lot, so they're completely safe with that. Okay, that worked out. So I need to know where you douchebags can move because I need to get rid of each and every single one of you. And Vigor is gonna help me with that. Uh, thinking if that would not be the best choice and let them kill those two douchebags. And I'm not gonna necessarily try to start attacking myself so much because would not be the smartest thing to... Okay, I should have looked at the damage first. That's... Dodge? Thank you. I mean, she wouldn't have died. But uh, it's still not preferred by me. Still not preferred. Because I need to get rid of uh, another douchebag here as well who is still full health. And therefore I kind of need to... Good, that works out. I kind of need to not have them get too many hits on them. Yeah, see if you can hit Neil Lucci. So, let's see if you can hit the crow with an axe. Dude, you think you can hit a crow with an axe? <laughs> a raven, sorry, whatever. Idiot. So, that worked out. Gonna place him down there as well. And use you. To get rid of that douche. Well, we're not gonna get rid of him yet. Not yet. Question is... Because if she attacks with 6 again, then it's probably in my best interest to... Oh, okay. That's helping. Boom. It's still probably in my best interest to... Uh, let Marsha... Uh, be... The one who moves again, because I don't want... Um, DXP flowing off into Alinja too much there. Because, yes, she is going to help me an awful lot, but still... Better safe than sorry, and Master is someone who... Can need that a little bit more, even though she is also an evolved unit because she's not a Pegasus Knight but the Falcon Knight. But whatever, you can see she gets more experience, and we're gonna go over this when time comes. So let's see, are they gonna move? So they're not gonna move, but we're gonna heal people that are next to us, thanks to. Or not? I thought it was gonna heal us. So, let's take a look. Because, I mean, I could just stand around for a little while here and do nothing, but... Then again, why would I? What weapon do you have? An Iron Axe? Not the best thing that I can... that you could have, but whatever. 
that heal you. Perfect. And I'm gonna move you in two spaces near Luchi. Still looks nice and dandy. Near Luchi, move in here, and I'm gonna place you right about there. So let's let let's let them get to us. Oh, body bow. They moved. That's not so sexy, but whatever. We can work around that. We can work around that. Most important thing is that we don't lose um, Leanne. God, nearly forgot her name. The problem is that we don't deal a lot of damage, and I forgot to equip you with your stronger lance again. That is that is on me. That is one hundred percent on me. Like basically everything else. Good, you attack. So that means I could get rid of you with the expectations of uh, something big gonna happen like that thank you Nialuchi I didn't even think that that was gonna happen but you still did it thank you an awful lot that helped there's still a lot of dudes now and I need to make sure that Lian is not inside of their range, so I'm probably gonna ignore them for the most part. I'm gonna get rid of those douches. Also gonna go up there. And... Yeah, that's probably the smartest thing that I could, could do. Let's go up here, attack with Nialuchi two times so that he is dead. And then... Gonna take a look what else I can do. He's probably gonna revert back now after this. Not yet. But that still helps because we have a little bit of space here now. So the end can get out to safety. That's actually good. So let's fucking hell. It's you, douchebag. Because he can't. Okay, let's take a look here. If I attack you... Yeah, I can't kill you, but... You also can't kill me. So let's do that. Let's place... Olympia right in front of that douchebag. Boom, stun, that's good! And another one! He's not gonna die from that, sadly. But that's helpful. So, problem is, I don't know if I can move there now. What I'm gonna do, what else I'm gonna do is... Nelochi is gonna revert back. That's a given at this point. I don't want... I don't want that to happen. I'm gonna stand right here and use a vulnerary on you. And gonna place you in front of her. Just to be safe. Okay, that's something I saw coming. Now, be gone with you! The skies and the heron is our ours, ours, ours. I can't wait to see your corpse smashed across Crimea's landscape. I can wait. 20 fucking 2 damage. Ouch, if he attacks twice then I'm dead, and if the other dude can get to her then I'm doubly dead. Good, I attack twice. That's okay for me. That's rather okay for me. Okay. Now I'm nervous. Now I'm very much nervous. Could have done without that. That's okay with me. That's totally okay with me. So, he's gonna transform bat now, back now, so he's gonna revert. Arrgh. Boy, I'm bushed. Hey, partner, you tired? How's the nap sound? You want to rest your wings a bit? Huh? We're running late? And I'm sleepy. 
What did you call me? That wasn't very nice, overgrown lizard. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Oh, this is perfect. Beanie and Draconite, just my stick and luck. Okay, so. Thank you. Thank you. So here is now Har. If you're not familiar with Har, he is strong. Problem is, I have to talk to him with, I think, Alinchia. Oh no, I have to talk to him with her, so let's talk. Hey, look who's here. It's Har. Hello, Mawson. I see you're still flying about on that apple-eating hair bag. And you're still asleep on the reins of the foul-smelling... Oh, crackers. I don't have time for nonsense. Open that one good eye of yours and take a look around, will ya? Those Bini and Draconites have invaded Crimea skies. You've got to help us save the Lagos they're trying to kidnap. But well, come on, Har. Me? Why? I owe the Queen a favor or two, but I'm not one of her soldiers. You... You can't! Does... Does having fought together in the Mad Kings want me nothing to you? Well, no, but... Look, I've got a delivery to make and this cargo's really heavy. Sorry, Marsha. Maybe next time. Next time? You lizard-loving jerk! Would you really abandon us? What kind of a man are you? The king who lives to... The kind who loves to, lives to sleep another day. Well, good luck to you. See you around. Stop! You have to stay and help. Um, okay, Har, hear me out. You were an Imperial Draconite once, right? It's your job to fix this. They're your old comrades. You have to keep them in line. Huh? You're not making a lick of sense, girl. Why do I have to make a sense? If Jill were in trouble, I bet you'd help her. Please, 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 come on, Har. You have to help us. You have to. Is it really all that bad? Yes, they're a tough bunch and I'm all alone. I don't think I can manage to protect Queen Olympia. Please, say you'll help. If only for the safety of the Queen. Oh, fine. I really don't have time for this. But I guess I can lend a hand. Thank you so much. I take back all the mean things I was thinking about you earlier. That girl's nothing but trouble. Well, if we're going to do this, let's get it over with. Up and down, partner. Hey, now we have Har. And Har is, as you can guess, a dra dragon master. He has cancel and can't do, and he is a freaking hard hitter with a javelin and a steel axe. So, we need to get rid of a uh, senor douchebag right here, and we're gonna do this. Well, if it isn't Saffron, what brings the Draconites into Crimea skies? Har? Why couldn't you just stay on patrol? Saw a pretty little heron and just had to have her, is that it? I never could decide if you were more greedy or more corrupt. Stupid was never in question, though. Who do you think you are? You're a traitor, just like Sir Haram. The Draconites spit on your name. Do they now? <laughs> well, here's your chance to try the real thing. Boy, I love Har. If you don't know it, Har is probably one of my favorite characters from the game. He, I, he, I love his shtick. He is a sleepy dragon, dragon master in this game. He was a sleepy dragon knight. And I just love the way Har is. He is that kind of like foul mouthed dude that just runs around doing his stuff. And I, I just li like him. He is a, a very neat personality, I think. Also, you douchebag have to get out of my way. The problem that I see right now. If I do this, Lago Stone, we cannot transform, and we cannot attack. That's not so great. I think I'm gonna have some trouble here right now. 
I think that I miscalculated a little bit and therefore I'm gonna have to pay uh, the price. Uh, well, there's no way in hell that I can defeat this dude now. Even with Anuncia going at it, there won't be really a chance to get rid of that dude. Because I don't deal damage now? Maybe I deal damage from over here. Huh. Maybe from up there. Nay. No chance in hell that I can do anything here. So all I can do is that and maybe probably lose the map. Unless they don't attack Leanne, but I'm not sure about that. So probably gonna lose the map. And if they don't attack Leanne, then I'm probably gonna lose the map because of Marsha. So... Gonna stand myself right... In front of you. Everything else wouldn't make that much sense. Well... Let's see... Atta oh! Ah! Okay, that makes it easier. They just try to take her. Good! I thought for a second that they would go were going to attack her, so... That's actually good. That's, that I'm okay with because you have her now, good for you. You're gonna die, however, next turn, so... Well... And we're also on turn 6 and nearly no none of you is... No one of you is alive, so... That's enough. That's more than enough. Okay, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo. Fuck you for taking someone. It does not belong to you. And also thank you for the level up. Always like to get them. A great level up. Masha! Seriously. Got the... Uh. Yeah. Ah. Dying fabulously. Thank you for the short X. And you stay there. Um, yeah. Uh, har. Get rid of that douche. Get rid of him. I also love Har's dragon because he has a black dragon. And no, the name of the dragon is not Aaron. It's not. No. I actually don't know if... There is an official name to House Dragon. But with the amount of detail that they pay to everything, I would not be surprised if there was. So let's get rid of the last stupid dude here as well. And finish this off. <laughs> this is gonna be a fast episode again. Hadn't had one of them in a long time. So, and ne Nealuchi should be able to take care of that douchebag now. Also gonna go over there. No, I'm gonna stick right in front of you. And send Nealuchi over here. And yes, you're dead. You are the deadness. Also, 260 in total. You're dead. This is what it stands for. Goodbye. Swearing, trying to only do this with Marsha? Good luck. Don't think it's really that possible. Yeah, you run dragon backers. And don't ever come back to Crimea. Princess Leanne, it's a pleasure to see you again. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. Are you hurt? Lady Lian is very grateful for your help with those ruffians and is quite delighted to see you again, ma your majesty. Frankie, I don't think these old bones would have been up to the task of protecting the princess without your help. The most important thing is that you're both safe, Sir Nialuchi. But what brings you here? As far as I knew, the both of you were residing in Gallia. 
It is imperative that my lady sees General Ike as soon as possible. We were traveling to the royal palace in Melia for that very purpose. That's unfortunate. Ike left Melia more than half a year ago. After that, rumor has it that he reorganized the Grand Mercenaries. Now, no one seems to know where they are. What? This is most unexpected. What are we supposed to do now? Sir Ike isn't here, but since you've traveled all this way to Crimea, would you like to visit the royal court? I would be happy to investigate the whereabouts of the Grand Mercenaries during your stay. Well, we don't want to be a bother, but it would be very kind of you. To be honest, there are matters about which I must speak with Sir Ike myself. And regardless, we're always delighted to have such splendid guests as yourself. I must tell you, however, I am ashamed to say it, there is unrest among certain circles here in Crimea. I hope nothing will happen to disturb your visit with us. Un unrest, you say? Yes, I trust, however, my protection will be enough to keep you from harm's way. There is unrest.